Backpacking tents are tiny. And when you're just carrying your tent, that's great. Tiny tents fit better in your pack and they reduce weight. But the rest of the time, tiny tents suck. And for me, the suckiest part about backpacking tents is the headroom. For the last several years, I've been putting up a terrible headroom for one main reason, to save weight. Sure, there are tents out there that have better headroom, but for me, it just wasn't worth the added weight. But then I found the Mountain Hardware Strato two-person tent. It's about six ounces heavier than what I typically carry, but oh my goodness, it has so much headroom. Most people don't believe that two-person tents are actually suitable for two people, but I actually use them that way. And when there's only one person in a tent, headroom isn't an issue. But when you have two people in a tent, for me, the biggest issue is when you're trying to sit up and put on or take off a layer. So the thing that I've always noticed with two-man tents is if I'm trying to like take on and off layers. Mm -hmm. which, Ooh, that's a lot of layers. Yeah, you like that? <laughs> maybe, maybe I should try to film that again. <laughs> So if I try to put on a layer, like there's not a whole lot of no. room to move around, but I feel like there's considerably more in this tent than other tents that I've slept in. I have noticed that my head is just kind of hitting back here yeah. a little bit, and I, I wonder if that wouldn't be improved with that larger fishbone that we talked about earlier. And so the Strato makes really good improvements here with almost two feet of headroom near the top, making the sidewalls much closer to vertical. The tent comes in at two pounds, 6.5 ounces on my home scale with all the poles, stakes, and guidelines, which is really pretty good for a two-person backpacking tent. And so the Strato isn't the best for sure, but for the weight, those extra 6.5 ounces are worth the room. The other thing that I feel like all two-person tents should have, and that's two doors and two vestibules. When you got two people in a tent, the last thing you want to do is climb over the other person to get in or out of the tent. The Strato not only has two doors and two vestibules, but each door has two zippers, which at first I was wondering what the real benefit of a double zipper door was, but it makes it so much easier to open the door with one hand. And when you're flopping around inside a tiny tent with two people, the last thing you want to do is have trouble opening the door. Two other really nice features on this tent is a pre-bent pole at the feet that gives you just a little bit extra room to keep the toe box or sleeping bag from soaking in condensation. And one of my absolute favorite features on this tent is the fact that a gear company has finally figured out that we don't want to keep the poles in the same bag as the tent, which Maybe other companies know this, but Mountain Hardware is a first that I've seen that gives you an easy way to keep the poles with the tent. It's simple, but I love it. This tent isn't going to be good for tall people. So how tall are you, Kyle? Six foot. Six foot tall. Damn. As you can see in this video, I got my friend Kyle to lay down and both his feet and his head brushed up against the walls of the tent. Now. For demonstration purposes, we didn't take the time to inflate the sleeping pads, but a two to three inch sleeping pad will only make this worse. Now, this is a common problem with backpacking tents, and if you're tall, I don't really know of a tent that will accommodate you completely, but if you know one, please leave a comment pointing others in the right direction. This tent was a little difficult to get the fly taut. I had to intentionally go around several times and tighten down all the guidelines to get a nice, tight, and taut fly. When on most tents I'm used to, I can usually just get a nice tight fly on one go as I'm staking out the tent. And I haven't had this tent in a real heavy rain yet, but just knowing my experience with other similar designs, you will experience a little bit of splashback due to how low the mesh is on this tent. But what you sacrifice in splashback, you will gain in weight savings and better ventilation. The most annoying thing about this tent is for most of the tent, they use these unique clips that actually weigh slightly less than your more traditional clip. It's not much, but it's thinking out of the box, which I really like in a tent. But for some reason, right near the bottom front, they abandoned the whole clip design in favor of two two loops, and I just don't understand why, because they are annoyingly difficult to feed the poles through if you even remember to use them. Another thing that bothers me is when a tent company makes a two-piece floor with a seam. I know it's possible to not do this because my Nemo Hornet has a one solid piece floor, and I feel like this is just begging for standing water to leak through at some point. And the last thing on my cons list is a small thing, but I don't like the way the door tie back is all the way back towards the feet. It's just a long way to reach back there to tie back the door. Now, two things that aren't really cons, but I don't really think they're pros either, is the color. I don't like the white. It's not bad, and I know it reduces the amount of dyes and energy and water it takes to make this tint, which is definitely a pro, but I prefer a nice bright color that pops in photos and videos, but 
Maybe that's just a YouTuber problem. And the last is the price. At 400 US dollars, this isn't the most expensive tent, but it's also not the cheapest. So you decide if that's a pro or a con and let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinions. So there you have it, the Mountain Harbor Strato two-person tent. It's new for 2021, I know, right here at the end of the year. But tell me what you like or don't like about this tent, or if you think the headroom is worth the extra ounces. Be sure to hit that like button, and if you want to support me in the videos I'm putting out, the easiest way to do so is simply subscribe, watch, and comment. Or you can pick up one of my awesome Ticket Seat shirts in the link below this video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at MyLifeOutdoors, and as always, thanks for watching.